So, uh, Kate, continue our work this morning, and, and how, what were their thoughts on the work, and how did they feel about that? Well, I'd say he, he moved over the ground quite well, so they, they were pleased with how he, how he traveled. Were they trying to keep up with Derma Sodagate? Uh, not necessarily. Der Derma was, was planning to, to, to really have a hard blowout, so he, he, he uh, just kind of blew past him, and that, that, was, that was expected. Okay, and this was continuing our second work over the track? Yes. And uh, would that be his last? Work? Or do you know? Or? Um, I'm not sure. They're gonna they're gonna kind of play around. It depends on the weather because they don't really want to uh, breeze with the rain. So um, hopefully there'll be time to fit in another one. And uh, any other things about Continuar? Uh, when's the trainer coming in? Uh, the trainer comes in on Monday. Okay. Um, and then uh, from there it'll be all systems go. And Continuar's trainer, and I'm not gonna try to say his name, but. Uh, they came came in, won two races in the Breeders' Cup a couple years ago. Won races all over the world. Could you talk a little bit about his uh, background and, and some of the races he's won and, and how, how he fits over in Japan racing? Well, Yoshitohu Yahagi, I think, is probably now one of the most famous trainers from Japan all over the world. Everyone uh, knows his image, um, knows knows his horses. Uh, he's won in Australia, uh, Saudi, Dubai, Hong Kong, America. Um, so uh, Europe's next on the list, I'm sure. Uh, it's just amazing what he's been able to do and the team that he's put together. Um, so I mean, he's, he's up there with all, all the your Aiden O'Briens and stuff like that. I'm sure he's, he's going to be up there very soon, if he's not already. And you know, with this horse coming in, he's a little bit more of a, a longer shot since he finished further behind in the UA Derby. Is that his style to kind of take shots with horses, or is it, it does it indicate that the, this horse is? got a more serious chance that they're even coming. Well, I think with Continuar, he he's what he ran really well as a two-year-old, so we're kind of waiting to see when he kind of rebounds back. So you never know when that's going to happen. So yeah. it might happen on Saturday. Um, but at the same time, um, Yagi does like to take chances. And uh, like he did with Marsh Lorraine in the Breeders' Cup Distaff in um, uh, 2021. She was 50 to one or something, or even higher mm -hmm. perhaps. And she won that race. So. You can never count Yahagi out. Yeah. And uh, Drafong, uh, obviously he raced here, but uh, how is he doing as a sire over in Japan? Amazing. Uh, uh, Continuar is from his second crop, I think. Yeah, second crop. Um, and his first crop was, made him actually leading freshman sire in Japan. So he had an absolutely stellar um, debut. He had a group one winner over the turf last year. Um, in Geoglyph, and so Dreyfong has been absolutely fantastic. And how are they doing it at this type of distance? They've actually been surprisingly good at going over slightly longer distances, mostly because um, Dreyfong's and even your mind your biscuits, these sprint stallions have been bred to more distance prone mares, and so that blend of speed and stamina um, works really well, especially when you're going for this kind of uh, classic distance. Okay, yeah, and I wanted to ask the same thing about mind, mind your biscuits. How was how he doing as a sire? Well, he was leading freshman sire last year. Okay. <laughs> um, so he's, uh, and he had his group one winner um, in uh, Derma Sotogake. It was a Japanese, is a not considered international group one, but Japan group one. So he was champion two year old dirt, um, male in Japan last year. So, um, yes, yeah, Mind Your Biscuits has been an absolute sensation. Uh, he even had, is having runners on the turf and dirt um, over longer distances, not just sprints. So it, it's, um, it's amazing what the Japanese have been able to do, uh, bringing over American sprinters from pedigrees that the Americans apparently didn't want. Amazing. Interesting. Thank you.